You would. Hooray, Tar. There we go. That's potential. Oh, it's working. Stupid stuff. Still a stupid yellow oil. Science or something. Or oil. Okay, so here, well, let's just jump into reaction. So we're trying to make chloral again. Uh, should I mute this? Ah, yeah, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna try to chlorinate ethanol again. I tried this previously. See video in description. But. <laughs> Beijing. See the new description, but it didn't work well because I messed it up. So we're doing it again. Ethanol, ice bath, thermometer, chlorine generator, and I found out the chlorine doesn't actually have to be dry, so it's just going directly in there. Let's start adding chlorine, yay. Okay, I set up, yeah, okay, I set up fluorescent light to shine on this thing because it's gone far too yellow, and um, the temperature's increasing, so the chlorine's gonna react, and um, if I don't make it react with light, it's gonna explode, so that's fun. Okay, the reaction's at approximately 20 degrees Celsius, so I'm gonna let this cool down a bit before adding more chlorine. Let's hope I don't explode. <laughs> so some context here. So this chlorination reaction first happens via radical mechanism, where um, chlorine radicals attack the hydrogens on ethanol to form hydrogen chloride, which further catalyzes the reaction. Now, this reaction has to be done in stages. The first stage has to be cold, as to prevent a runnery reaction which may cause ignition of the ethanol vapor. The second stage can be let up so it warms up by its natural exotherm. And the third stage needs heating to um, additional reflux. But um, what I did previously do is let it run for way longer than it should have in the first stage. Uh, you can actually let this only run for a couple of um, around like half an hour in the first stage. So you don't actually need it to run over an hour in the first stage um, as to prevent exotherm. Pretty much once the chlorine is starting to get rapidly absorbed, you can start increasing the chlorine rate of vision and temperature. So yeah, that's pretty much the context needed. Like the instant it went to like 45 degrees, it turned clear. It, it was a deep yellow color. Now time for a shameless self-promotion. Uh, all the following stuff was streamed on my Discord server, which you can find in my description. But uh, yeah, um, I also stream a lot more now because a lot of the chemistry I usually do on is not really worth making a video because it's pretty common stuff that's been shown on YouTube a billion times, or it's just busy work, so just making nitric acid uh, in preparation for a larger synthesis. So yeah, join Discord, you can chat with me, and you can maybe join in on a stream or something. It's fun. So I, I guess the react- I mean, the reaction's working fine, it's just a generator uh, overflowed slightly, and uh, the solution now looks like a uh, very old piss. So, uh, I think that's far too much chlorine. You know what, it. I'm just gonna let it go to whatever temperature it wants to. I think the reaction's fine. <laughs> the fucking synthesis nearly broke me. That's a lot of viewing. Starting chlorine generation. Hooray. We're at 70 Celsius roughly. And the chlorine's generating quite fast. So once it gets to around 90, um, I'm gonna let more chlorine in and that should be done. Okay, the reaction's at 83 Celsius now, so that's almost done because uh, the goal for this is actually 90. 
Nice. Exactly on that. So it looks like the chlorine's escaping. <laughs> well, the reaction's actually at 90 now, and I think I'm out of it with chlorine, though. So, I think this should be done soon. <laughs> Because, uh, because um, I think this reaction actually forms a chloral uh, ethanolate, so like the ethanol like hydrate of it, and it was at 116, even though it's at like 92. So that's nice. Like I can I, I, I probably get more yield out of this. Okay, so I turn off the heating. Foreign generation is generating. Yes, it is overflowing, but due to the design of this invasion funnel, it just like. Okay, so I gotta set up off a sub subbank trap to remove the chlorine. This is just a hot solution of sodium hydroxide and So anyways, let's actually verify this is chloral. Now, this is a few days later, of course, but let's see. So, chloral forms chloral hydrate when it reacts with water. Now, I did do the stoichiometry, but I'm frankly too lazy to do it again and uh, actually work it out. So, we'll just say that much water and... Oh, wrong thing. And chloral. Uh, it's not building much, as much HCl pressure. Still fumes in air, though. So, there's definitely HCl dissolved, which... I believe you, it should be fixed if you use the um, calcium oxide to neutralize it. So now if I add it into the water and I mix it, you can see it's not immediately miscible. And smell check again. Still smells like what it smelled like. So we'll get this mixed thoroughly and 
I'm just gonna leave it for a while. Okay, it does not actually seem to form a solid, which is interesting. Uh, I shook it again, but it forms two separate phases each time. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add sodium hydroxide, which if this is chloral, or at least a chloral acetaldehyde, it should hydrolyze into chloroform and sodium formate. Ooh, spicy. It's turning into tar. Whoop. Yeah, I'd say that's a reaction, all right. Perhaps not the one I was looking for, but... Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna quickly rinse this off. And smell it. Six, sickly sweet odor, similar to chloroform, with a hint of acetaldehyde. And also some sort of organic, musty odor. Interesting. I, there's something chloroform though. Oh well, here's some water for that, and um, we'll see. The chloral... It's face separated again. You can see that drop there. It's just separated again. It's it's not hydrated. I don't know why. <laughs> no. But um, I mean, I guess I'll just call it here. I mean, whatever I get is whatever I get. So I guess that concludes today's video? <laughs> I mean, honestly, what is there to say? I might send this off for an- I mean, I'm not sure if I wanna, but because it's gonna take a long time and I'm not sure if the person I know has an NMR has time, but I mean, we'll just see if it works or not, so yeah.